In this video, we will illustrate how to measure bed shear in free and submerged hydraulic jumps using a Preston tube. It will be very useful because by the end of this experiment, we will have graph by which we can know bed shear directly by measure only one parameter which is frow number or velocity head, city head. Preston in 1954, suggested a linear relationship between the velocity at the boundary and the bed shear stress. Dimensions of the tube used to measure the velocity head are as shown. For calibration. Considering the typical quintal volume of length L. Four forces can be defined to be acting on the control volume. Pressure acting on the upstream and downstream faces weight of the fluid within the control volume and the friction force acting opposite the flow direction Chin. boundary shear stress can be computed from a known water surface profile using fundamental principles of momentum conservation as shown we can develop an expression for boundary shear stress in a rectangular channel as the following this experiment was done in the hydraulic lab at Faculty of Engineering Cairo University. We use channel flume by which we control flow and slope. And we measure water level using this point gauge. We choose a reach to be studied. To measure velocities, we use this electromagnetic current meter. Finally, we use Preston tube to measure velocity head, T head. On the lab, our work procedure was as follow. First we make a calibration of flume to get Manning coefficient. Second we decide to change slope two times. For each slope we change flow four times. For each flow, we measured water depths and velocities at upstream and downstream of studied reach. Also for each flow, we measured velocity pressure in the middle of the studied reach by Preston tube. tube. To measure flow velocity with good accuracy, we divide flow cross sectional area to three or two sub area according to water depth. For each sub area, we measure the depth at the middle of it. Then we calculated average velocity for cross section area. After that, to calculate bed shear in free and submerged jumps, our steps were as follow. First, we created free and submerged hydraulic jumps using a vertical underflow gate. To get different froud number, we change flow five times for each hydraulic jump. For each flow, we measured hydraulic jump characteristics like gate opening to get Y1 and also jump length and tail water depth. Finally, we measured velocity head in the middle of each hydraulic jump, jump.
after lab work of calibration. We collected data for slope of 0.007 and slope of 0.005. And flow ranges from 9 to 24 liter per second for each slope. For free hydraulic jump, measurements were. Froud number ranges from 1 to 3. Tail velocity ranges from 0.82 to 0.49 meter per second. Tau ranges from 10.6 to 33.7 newton per square meter. So skin friction coefficient was calculated and ranges from 0.03 to 0.28. For submerged hydraulic jump, measurements were. Froud number ranges from 1 to 3. Tail velocity ranges from 0.45 to 0.35 meter per second. Tau ranges from 12.4 to 31.9 newton per square meter. So skin friction coefficient was calculated and ranges from 0.13 to As a result of calibration work, we create this chart. Now if we know velocity head at any place on the flume we can directly get shear stress. You enter with the value of velocity head, and get shear stress. Or you can use this equation directly. For free hydraulic jump, we develop this chart. Now if we know Froud number for any free hydraulic jump on the flume, we can directly get shear stress. You enter with the value of Froud number, and get skin friction coefficient. Or you can use this equation directly. After that, use this equation to get shear stress. Our calculated bed shear stress is in the middle of the hydraulic jump. According to Rajaratnam 1965, this represents 65% of the average and 20% of the maximum value of the bed shear stress under the jump. So we compared our results to Roger Rodnam's results. And the two bed shear was very close. This is clear from this chart. For submerged hydraulic jump, we develop this chart. Now if we know Froud number for any submerged hydraulic jump on the flume, we can directly get shear stress. You enter with the value of Froud number, and get skin friction coefficient. Or you can use this equation directly. After that, use this equation to get shear stress. <laughs>